Bill Hurt from Hackaday. I am going back to my roots. I am standing in front of what was the MOS Technology Building. I first started here working for Commodore back in, oh, 83, 80, something like 32 years ago. Uh, and this, this was it. I remember pulling up to this in just total awe, right? And people have been trying to get into this building for years now, and we just came out. I'm with Doug here. We've got a bunch of footage from inside. It's a mess, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, there, we actually did pull some wafers out and some other interesting stuff. So I actually remember where I parked the first day, right over here. I, I uh, uh, parked right where they were had the aerators shooting water into the air. Well, why? Because there's chemicals in the ground that MOS had put there and the EPA made them spray it into the air. Well, it ended up on my car. I had parked under a tree and the leaves were stuck to my windshield. That's how I know the exact spot I parked 32 years ago. So I'm gonna go park there one last time before my life ends and we'll show you what the inside of this place looks like before they either tear it down or gut it the rest of the way. So this would have been the ground floor. And those are boarded up windows, I think. I think the front door is around there somewhere. Oh my god. This was the front offices of MOS Technology. The outside looking in at the golf course across the street. All through here was the chip handling stuff. Uh, if I remember right, you would have had the, the yellow lights because there was the production door the, or the entrance we used to come in and out on a normal basis when you weren't coming in the front door. For sale or lease. This was the offices when I first got here for Commodore. The chip guys or the uh, product engineers were in a different area. But my first office, which was actually Benny Pruden's office, was right in here. There was three or four of us. Benny had this great spider plant collection due to the fact he had a window. Right about here would have been Shiraz's office. This corner here would have been Bob Russell, Ray Hughes would have been next to him. And then my more permanent office, Terry Ryan, was in here. So 
There was, there was an aisle way here, and then the offices went back like that. <sighs> Mine was here. I shared it with Kong Su and John Ramage. They'd have put four of us in there, but they needed like eight by eight by eight or something, nine by nine. Um, just big enough for a file cabinet and a desk on each wall. And then the Kalma area, what we called after the chip layout people, they had all of this darkened in. And you walk down here and it was a cathedral of old mentor, not mentor, Kalma workstations. Thought that said herd at first, that's hero. Cat area was over here. Wish I'd learned to spell my name after all these years. Yeah, either, either way. Try and keep my eye, light out of everybody's eyes. this is. 